Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to talk about something that's quite close to heart because as you may know, I've graduated a few months ago and let me tell you, adjusting to post-grad life is quite a challenge. It knows its ups and downs and I thought I'd talk about today to kind of give you an idea of what it's like and to kind of prepare you for it because there's definitely a few things I wish I'd kept in mind. Let me tell you, there's a difference. There's a big difference between what I expected and what's actually happening. One thing to keep in mind is that I have also relocated as well as graduated. So it's quite hard to know if it's, it's because I moved to a different country, to a different place, or if it's because I'm adjusting to adult life. So um, yeah, but I think most of these are gonna be post-grad related anyway. So a few months ago, I graduated for my master's degree. I was thrown in a deep, dark hole and it was quite a challenge. I've not found it very fun. I've always loved being a student and I wish I could still be a student now. So I find it quite hard to adjust to adult life, to real life and to kind of accept that that's a new phase of my life and I have to start that. So I think a lot of you will maybe feel the same about it. Even if you don't really particularly like uni, things are going to drastically change in your life and you will have to prepare yourself for that next phase of your life because it will take some adjusting. The first thing I want to touch on is that you might never know what you actually want to do with your life and when you graduate, often you have a plan of what you want to do with your life but Basically, when you're an adult, you can do anything you want. You can go any direction you want. So you have a lot of options. And those options are quite overwhelming and everything seems awesome. You want to do everything. And there's so much choice that that will cause a lot of stress. I have a degree in teaching, but there's so much other stuff I want to do with my life that I find it quite hard to stick with one thing. You might never feel like you want to do something 100% because I don't think there's any job that fits someone for like a full 100% but you kind of have to choose something and stick with it because otherwise you're never going to get good at one thing. Also I feel like because I did relocate um, most of my friends are at least half an hour away from me if not more and my family is in a different country some of my best friends are very far away from me so I didn't feel like I had a very great support system. Of course I could text people and call them if I wanted to but I feel like it's so important to have people close and now that my friend Bo is here currently I definitely feel the difference and I feel a lot more happy now than when there wasn't a close friend around. It's not gonna be like uni where you have thousands and thousands of people that are around your own age, that are your peers, your best friends right around the corner really that it's not going to be that easy and also making new friends is going to be really hard work people often expect that they graduate from uni or college and they get a job straight away in the career they want to do and that's their life settled well let me tell you it's not going to be that easy and of course it depends on what kind of degree you do uh, sometimes a degree is very straightforward and the job you can do with that degree is very straightforward often what happens is that you graduate from school and you are going to try and apply for jobs which is dreadful in itself it's horrible I hate it um, but you're gonna try and look for jobs and you apply to a bunch of things that I think that you think suit you and you probably won't hear back from anything or you'll hear back that you didn't make the cut and you're not even gonna get an interview um, that's what happens generally and you will have to maybe settle down for a job that you don't really want to do but has something to do with your future career what you want so it's kind of like a step up to what you want to do and you have to start at the very very bottom so you have to really work your way up and it's not going to be your dream job straight away and of course it does sometimes happen that you do get a job you really want to do straight away it does happen so don't worry too much but just keep in mind that that whole expectation might not 
be reality for you. Definitely do do work placements and internships because that will you know, get you out there into the real world and get used to working in the real world. And also it looks very good on your CV, so you will get a step ahead of everyone else. The second expectation is that you will have money and freedom. You won't have to go to school, you can do whatever you want and you get money because you're working. Well, let me tell you, yes, you will get more money because you're working, but because you're working, you don't have freedom. You will have to be there five days a week, at least 40 hours if you're working full time and there's not much time left in a day to do fun things because also you're going to be tired. My general work week consists of going to work, get home and eat, watch some TV, go to bed and that on repeat all the time. My parents always want me to text them what I get up to in a day but every day is the same so I always forget to let them know I'm still alive. But I am, I'm fine. And the last thing I want to touch upon is that when you graduate, you might think, oh, this is my life starting and you will see all these other people doing great in their jobs and buying houses and whatever, like that's social media for you. But the reality is that for the next at least five years, you're going to be figuring yourself out because in college or in school, you really don't get much opportunity to really figure yourself out. That's what happens in your early 20s after you graduate. So you're really gonna get to know yourself and get to know what you want out of life. I don't know, but my dad's told me that as long as you figure it out by 35, you're good. So I still have some time to go. <laughs> so yeah, life after uni isn't all that great. It's not all unicorns and sparkles. It is hard work and it takes a lot of adjusting and accepting that that's gonna be your life. Everything will be fine. If you look at everyone around you, everyone is gonna be doing fine and it will all work out. You will all figure out what you want to do. And even if you don't figure it out, you will choose something. You will settle down for it. And even if it doesn't make you very happy, although it's very hard to jump ship, you can always do it because you do have that freedom. So the biggest tip if you're still in uni, just enjoy it as much as you can. You will never have a better time probably in your life than when you were in uni. And I would say try and take steps whilst you're in uni to kind of adjust to your life. So do do that work placement, do take on part-time jobs and do kind of envision what you want after uni. I feel like it's hard to give you specific tips because everyone's situation is going to be different. No one's is the same. Um, so I would just say enjoy life while you can and don't worry about it too too much. Um, I'm a worrier myself so I can get quite in my head about these things but um, I'm trying to just enjoy life and take it by the week and not overthink too much because that's not really going to get me anywhere either. So I'm trying to just enjoy it and I'm trying to do as much as I can to get where I want and figure out what it is that I want and in time I'll get there. I'd really like to know what your experiences were after you finished uni. If they're the same or completely different, please leave it down below because I'd really like to get a chat going about this topic and I find it very interesting to see how other people experience this and how they might work around a few things. So please, if you've recently graduated or even graduated a long time ago just let me know how it went for you so that's it for me today i hope i didn't scare you too much maybe in a few years time i will have good tips for you but we'll see how i get on if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please do and i'll see you next time bye guys